Hello, and welcome to Community Connections. My name is Addison Davis, Superintendent of Schools. In this episode of Community Connections, we'll talk about athletics and how we compete on and off the field within our school district. Today, to help talk about how we have expanded athletics and how we're doing within our school district, we have the Director of K-12 Academics. We have Mr. Michael Wingate, along with two athletic directors who continue to have cutting-edge work on and off the field, Mr. Stillno at Clay High School and Scromolo at Ridgeview High School as well. So we talk about athletics, we'll talk about the, also the impact that our coaches have had and how we continue to seek partnerships to help our athletics evolve within our schools. So Mr. Wingate, we've done tremendous work to show that we truly care about the student athlete. And we know that it's very hard for our children not only to excel in the classroom, but outside the classroom as well. And through, through athletics is one of the extracurricular activities that children really get a chance to do some great things and show their ability and skill sets. So, you know, in your eyes, how, we, how have we evolved in the last couple of years and how have you really acknowledged and reward and recognized athletes within our school district? I appreciate it, Superintendent. First of all, thank you for your support. Uh, uh, I, I, I have to mention the, the, the ladies, the young men in the trenches, the athletic directors. I can tell you from the junior highs to the high schools, they're the ones in the trenches doing the work talking with coaches, working with kids and families, so yes, they sir. deserve a tremendous amount of credit. Um, as we all know, when kids participate in athletics, uh, they're gonna stay out of trouble, they're gonna concentrate on their grades more, they're going to uh, be leaders around the school, and these young men here uh, certainly lead that charge. So what we've done in the last couple of years is we've tried to recognize those kids, not just on the athletic field, but certainly in the classroom for, yes, for doing it in both areas. And we've got a couple of programs that we have uh, our latest ones, Athletes of the Month, you know uh, about yeah. that. It's always nice. And uh, each school nominates a male or female for Athlete of the Month. And uh, the criteria for that is they not only have to perform, again, on the athletic field, we're looking at GPA, their classroom work, what kind of classes they're taking, but also what they're doing in the community. We feel like that's the three prongs right there. And so each school gives me a nomination. We have a group that selects that. All of the nominations are winners but uh, we select one out of there, we do a little video of them, put it on the district website. But again, we try to encourage the schools to make sure they publicize those selections. Yes, so, because all those kids are just outstanding. Yes, sir, and uh, you know, awesome point, valid point. We get a point where we recognize these young men and young women for doing great things, not only off the field, but in the community as well. Mm -hmm. Well done, and, uh, and each of you get a chance to live it every single day, you know, Mr. Still and others, Scrumolo. You know, we, you hit the ground running and you got a lot on your plate, but uh, you continue to do great things for children every single day. Talk about your athletic programs, how they have evolved, and how you've been involved in that, in that process to see a, a trajectory upward movement in the work for our children. Yeah, absolutely. I know for me, uh, first, the, the, the banquet and the award, the Athlete of the Month, it's, that's awesome. You know, for us, right from the get-go, every month, we put up and display our kids, uh, the male and the female. That's nice. We put it right outside the cafeteria so everybody can see it when they're walking in and out. But when I came to athletic director, you know, I wanted our program to be recognized throughout the state, you know what I mean? And, and I wanted uh, our program to be a model program for the county, for the district, for others to, to strive to be like us. And so when I look at all great organizations, whether it's the athletic program, whether it's Google, whoever it may be, um, I think it starts with leaders, you know? So besides just the athletics and, and just taking place on that field, like what are we doing to develop them in that? So. I'm an educator, we're all educators. We love helping people. And so how do I provide them with opportunities to help people? Right. So what we did is uh, we started providing them with some opportunities. Now, I've been fortunate enough to reach out to some people, but at the same time, I've been fortunate enough to have people reach out to me and say, hey, do you have a couple of kids that would like to come down and, and take part in this and that? Sure. And I'm like, ding, 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 <laughs> this is a great opportunity for our kids to right. come out and show their skills and, and to fill that leadership role. So for us, you know, during literacy week, we go down to the elementary schools and, uh, our kids get to read, you know, they put on their uniform, awesome. boys, girls, and they walk in those classrooms. And I can sit there and tell them, Mr. Davis, all day long about, hey, you're a leader, and people look up to you and they respect you. But when they walk in there with that uniform oh, on yeah. and those little kids light up, <laughs> you know what I mean? Those and, eyes probably oh, get large listen, and they see their civic leadership in that part. It's awesome. I don't, I, you know, my words don't matter anymore at that point in time. That's right. They, they get to experience it, That's they get right. to see what it is. That's right. And so they sit there and, and read those books and, and uh, go from room to room and get to engage. and. It's, it's cool, man. It's, it's a cool thing. Yeah, it's about connectedness, and, and I think mm -hmm. that's a perfect avenue to make that happen. And I know you got some great things in your school as well, and uh, tell us a little bit about how 
you know, Ridgeview continues to thrive with their mentality at, and within your school. Yeah, absolutely. So first off, thanks for having me. Yes, uh, this sir. is awesome. And, uh, you know, so Ridgeview High School, our, our mantra in our athletic department is to, uh, you know, build lifelong champions, you know, people that are successful on and off the playing field. Um, and really, but more importantly than that, we want to have a great student athlete right. experience. I can tell you that that's probably why Coach Stillano is in athletics. I know that's Absolutely. why I'm in athletics from uh, my time at Clay High School to my time at Flagler College. Had a really good student athlete experience. So uh, kind of the driving force behind all of my decisions is how does this affect the student athlete experience, which right. that student athlete experience goes hand in hand with the academic experience, Absolutely. which is why athletics is so important. And uh, some of the great things we do, um, we have the Athletic Leadership Council, which is something that we started three years ago at Ridgeview. And it's just, uh, there, it, it affects our school in so many positive ways. And, and we have a great diverse council, not just IB students, but you know students that maybe struggle academically, but nevertheless, they need that leadership help and, and they're leaders amongst their teams, um, so to speak. We also started something this year called High Five Friday, which was actually an idea from Miss Bodie at uh, Ridgeview Elementary. She came to me, you know, like you said, people cool. reach out yeah. and uh, we're always looking for people in the community that want to help yeah. us. And uh, what that is, is a group of students, uh, we started with the Athletic Leadership Council. They go to the elementary school and all it is is giving sure. high fives to these kids when they come in. And like you said, you know, these high school, high school kids don't understand until they're on that platform what, what they mean to people, you know, and, uh, and really, but going back to that student athlete experience, that's our number one priority, whether you want to play college sports or, right. or you just want to play for your high school team and be yeah. a Ridgeview Panther, whatever it is. Yeah. Um, it's all about that big picture. Yeah. It's about pride and ownership. Yeah. And these will, you know, Ridgeview, Clay, Fleming, you know, Oak Leaf, Orange Park, Keystone, it will always be a part of who they are and they can be able to tell their story. We've all been coaches. We've all been leaders. We've all been mentors. And I think it's really special that we're going beyond the playing field to create the experiences. All three of you really understand the, the importance of community, the importance for business partners to wrap their arms around athletics. And, uh, you know, Mr. Wingate, you've done a really nice job. You know, my vision a couple years ago was to have an acknowledgement for athletes, to bring on a uh, athletic banquet award to celebrate those who excel on and off the field. But talk about what you've done to, to expand the community, acknowledge and partnerships through that work to make that banquet actually happen. Well, first of all, that athletic ceremony in, in just in two short years has grown tremendously. As you've seen, uh, we're, we're well over a thousand people yeah, in attendance. Awesome. Uh, the head coaches of each sport, they select the all county teams and it's just, it's, it's getting more and more prestigious as yes, we sir. go on. So naturally when you do things like that, you reach out to the community and you want them, them to get involved now it becomes a, a big deal for them. Uh, for one of our, for that particular program, Varsity Brand sponsors right. that. Uh, another great organization that we have a relationship with St. Vincent's, right. as you know, they help us with our athletic yeah. trainers. St. Vincent's Cup too. And the St. Vincent's yeah. Cup, which uh, we started out with just football for the St. Vincent's right. Cup. As these two gentlemen know, we, we're now up to five sports where the winner or the, the team that's considered the right. best at the end of the season gets a very nice cup. Yeah, it's a nice trophy, and nice acknowledgement. No, Any winners here yet? Yes, sir. Oh, what, what, what sport? We won football. Ah, oh, yep. congrats. Okay. All right. And all, yeah, he's on the next conversion of yeah. Ridgeview. That's right. Ultimately, it's going to cost you a little bit of money, but yeah. ultimately, <laughs> the goal is we want to have a St. Vincent's <laughs> Cup for all 23 yes, sports. Sir. That's where we're headed. Yeah, that, 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 that'd so. be an awesome experience. Yeah. So, you know, thank you for what you do. You do awesome work. You know, uh, you know, when we say put something together, you go over and beyond. And we thank your leadership for what you do every day within Clay County. Mr. Stillano, one of the biggest things that I see that w when I walk the hallways, I feel the pride that you yep. speak to and the athletic mindset and, and actually overall a academically, athletically, there's really, truly great pride within Clay High School, one of the best I've seen. But you also do some really nice work with partnerships and organizations. So through your leadership, tell, you know, tell us what about those partnerships and organizations and how do you get them to come be a part of what you're trying to create every single day, with, which is a special environment? Yeah, that's, that's a great question. And I, uh, kind of going back to the volunteering stuff, for example, I'll just give you an example. You know, uh, we, Charles Eben, the Clay uh, Leadership Council came in and said, hey, we're going to go clean this trail out. Well, I remember being in Charles right. Eben. I remember walking that trail. Like, that was a big deal yeah. for me as a little kid. So I'm like, yeah, so we're going to grab a couple kids. We're just going to go clean this trail out. And we walked that trail, and, and it wasn't just cleaning up uh, bottles and trash. That was in my mind. Yeah. We're actually <laughs> cleaning up railroad ties. Oh. And the kids are like, Coach, you set me up. Yeah. <laughs> I did. That's right. But doing that, well, yeah. uh, there was two people when we were all said and done that came to me and said, 
you know what, coach, send me your information. I want to invest in those kids. Sure. I want to invest mm -hmm. in people like that that are That's willing good. to show up and, and work like that. So we had two sponsorships before we left there. And, mm -hmm. and as you know, I think people just want to invest in people that are good people. That's right. That want to help people. I agree. And so when you're going out there and, and you're doing good things in the community and they can see it, it's sure. not just your words, they can see it. That's they, right. They, they love investing in you. They yeah. want to invest in you. Right. They come to you. That's right. And, and so we, we've been extremely fortunate, as you said, to, to have a community right. that's willing to, to give us really what we need and some. So right. extremely fortunate. So community members, business partners, you're out there watching this. We have a number of individuals on and off the field that can help you. We'd love for you to be a part of our, uh, you know, a, a part of our story and a part of our children's life, and they're willing to, to connect any way that we can. And not only do we see great partnerships and community uh, involvement within our schools, but we also understand the hard work that coaches bring in and out every single day. They bring their passion, they bring their energy, there's time away from their families to really be mentors to young men and women within within our schools. Mr. Scrumlo, you know, you have great passion within yourself, you lead the same way. Can you talk about the hard work and the dedication it takes to be a coach and, and the overall impact they have on athletes? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, you look at you look at all, we, I think there's 18, if you do JV and varsity, there's 18 different programs at, at Clay County High Schools right. that, you can, that you can participate in. And uh, it takes coaches to, to man those uh, posts, so to speak. And uh, like you said, I mean, sometimes these coaches are spending more time with other people's children than their own. Um, and, it, you know, I don't think it goes without saying that they do it because they love it. They do. They, you know, they love it, and they love investing in children, and it wouldn't happen without them, you know. And, and uh, for any viewers that are watching, you know, Clay County is an awesome place to coach. It is. Um, for many reasons. One of those reasons is the administration backing of athletics, right. you know, and that's, I can tell you at Ridgeview High School, Becky Murphy, you know, supports coaches, and, and uh, same thing, you know, I, I laugh because I see Coach Stilano <laughs> back in, uh, I don't know, maybe 2005, I was sitting in a health class, and uh, this guy was teaching it. And, uh, and you know, and uh, but but guys like him make well, you know, though. Yeah, well, right, right. Well. teaching it well, absolutely, <laughs> highly effective teaching, highly effective, yeah, yeah. high impact. Yeah, but uh, but you know, like people like Coach Silano and um, and just we, they affect kids' lives, myself included. Yeah. Coach Silano affected my life. I mean, he was he made me want to become a coach, along with you know uh, you know other coaches that we yeah. have, and and they really truly make a difference. I've seen student athletes have you know, relationships with coaches where maybe the teacher, you know, can't get to them and maybe the parent can't get to them, but the coach is the direct sure. line. Yep. And uh, and it's just a great thing. You know, it's uh, to, to build on the, those words and everything else. You guys have had people in your life that have led you down this right. road. And Superintendent, I can tell you when we have our meetings with the ADs, uh, I see that in them and they're having the same impact on these young people and the young coaches sure. coming up. Yeah. So it's just building upon sure. itself yeah. each year. You know, uh, you know, Thank each of you for being here today. Uh, I know that uh, your, your heart's in the right spot for kids. Each of you are accelerators in this work, and we thank you so very much for the community. You know, we talk about how teachers impact our lives, and we always remember that one teacher that has helped us be successful. There's also coaches that mentors that do the same. The individuals that coach our children in little leagues, the individuals that coach our children in our community, the individuals that coach our children in Pop Warner, whatever it may be, there have been individuals that have touched us in a positive way. And uh, we thank you for those who go over and beyond the classroom and elect to teach and, uh, and, and elect to coach. We thank you for your hard work and your dedication. And we thank you for being motivators and accelerators within our school district. We want to thank you for, the, for watching this episode of Community Connections and know that coaches truly are difference makers within our lives. And also be ready for next month because next month it's about holiday cheers and uh, we'll bring some holiday delights to you for you so that we can talk about having a stress-free holiday. Thank you and see you soon. Mm -hmm.